Welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk to you about oil consumption and how to actually prevent it because this is a very good opportunity for me to show it to you because my 4AG engine that we just took apart and are rebuilding on a budget had some oil consumption issues and I can show you a bit of stuff what to look out for or exactly how to fix it because if I mm, drove the car more spirited i would consume yeah maybe half a liter to 1.5 liters depending on how much of that uh, distance i drove with a high amount of throttle input over a thousand kilometers so oil consumption can start from a few different places on an na engine it's pretty simple there are only a few places where this can actually start going through the engine so the first one would be and the probably most common and easiest one even on a well-maintained engine would be the valve stem seals these sit in the uh, cylinders and are basically preventing the oil in the head from running down on the valves into the intake or exhaust paths and the issue with that is that over time these valve stem seals they get brittle or they get hard and obviously they cannot stop all the oil from entering the combustion chamber or rather intake or exhaust runners how do you check for uh, valve stem seals that aren't really the best anymore well there is a pretty easy way to tell that if you for example drive down a hill or rather if you are not driving normally and there is a hill then you shift down a few gears for example if you're doing around 100 kilometers an hour and uh, you shift down into for example third so you are at five to six six thousand rpm and you are coasting down the hill in gear and when you do that after let's say a few seconds maybe three four five seconds when you give it a bit of throttle so you go from the coasting state on the throttle then you will see a cloud of smoke out of the exhaust because in that state the huge or the large engine vacuum will pull the oil through into the combustion chamber and the oil will burn or will evaporate and if you have a cloud of smoke when you put your foot on the throttle then that means uh, that your valve stem seals are pretty bad and are leaking and that's the cause of your oil consumption the other thing is that oil consumption can stem from piston rings this isn't really that easy to test you can get somebody to drive behind you and if you for example push your car hard so high rpms high load if you see a cloud of smoke out of your exhaust that's mostly blue smoke then obviously your engine is burning oil the cause for that can be multiple things usually on older engines that haven't been maintained as good as they could have been this might just be because the oil change intervals weren't really that great so in the pistons where the oil control rings sit there are holes in the piston where the oil can travel to or can travel in and out of and these holes get coked up they basically either get smaller or completely clogged and then that oil can't drain back and the issue with that is that oil gets stuck on the cylinder walls and for example if the piston rings don't have enough tension outwards that causes them to basically leave some residual oil on the cylinder walls and that will burn within your engine something else that can happen with the same cause is that the piston rings just get stuck especially the oil control rings that means the these don't move within the slots of the piston anymore and they are just in a fixed position and therefore they cannot adjust to the bore diameter and also leave residual oil that burns off another thing which isn't common in cast iron engines or cast iron blocks 
and rather in aluminum cylinder liners is that scratches in the cylinder wall. I'm not talking about uh, the honing lines, I'm talking about scratches that you can feel with your fingernail, for example, if you open up the engine. Those are also or can also be a cause of oil consum consumption because obviously the piston rings cannot go into that groove and also in that groove there is residual oil that can hang in there. And the last thing is if the piston rings are just relatively worn, don't have that much pretension anymore or are just not as good of a shape anymore so they may be worn in a few places and there is just oil going past them because of that. That is a problem most commonly found in newer cars which are built to a high efficiency standard so the rings don't have a lot of pretension on them and as the car gets older the oil can go past the rings and therefore enter the combustion chamber. Why is oil entering the combustion chamber bad or rather why is oil consumption bad? Well you might say my car is burning a bit of oil, but I don't care. I will just top it up once in a while. Well, yes, while that can get a bit expensive over time, that's not really the, a huge issue. The larger issue stands for oil in the combustion process actually lowering your octane by quite a lot. And on especially newer engine, it can lead to pre-ignition which can damage your engine heavily. That's also a case in, for example, the Toyota Corolla, where it will cause the engine to catastrophically fail also. And in many other engines that can lead to earlier knock and less power because the ash or the coking that is on your pistons because of that oil burning or on your valves, uh, either on the front side or the back side um, that gets so hot that it starts to kind of glow and um, in those spots the air fuel mixture will actually ignite first instead of at the spark plug where it should ignite so you have knock there or pinging well this isn't as detrimental to an engine's health it still is something that lowers the performance and uh, you cannot run as much ignition advance. For example, if you drive a performance engine, the knock control will pull back more ignition than it would need to if your car didn't have any oil consumption. This is also the case if your piston rings aren't that great anymore and you have a lot of blow-by and through your PCV system, you are pulling air into the engine also. So that's another thing where you can consume oil, but that's also to do with the piston rings. So you are intaking that oil again and putting that through the combustion process, lowering your octane. So what can you do about that? First of all, valve stem seals can be changed with the engine still in the car, with the head still on. Um, I will link a video below that uh, explains how you can do it. Uh, then you can also run a catch can which will vent the gases and uh, separate the air from the oil so that the oil dust or oil vapor does not enter the combustion chamber and that will make things a lot better. But the problem is that your the parts within the engine are still very uh, very much full of the oil coking so the best thing would be to just take your engine apart which will already do something uh, and clean the parts because especially on the pistons or where the rings sit that's mostly the cause where that oil consumption is coming from and where you can prevent it by doing regular maintenance. There's also additives that can help with exactly that, that you pour, for example, into the cylinders, let that sit and that should, or it is said to remove such carbon buildup. And I have had some luck with them, 
but they may not work in every case. So you might try it, but it's not sure that it works 100% of the time and that it removes everything, but it could help. And freeing those piston rings obviously can also lead to higher compression, so you might gain back some power there also. A engine rebuild obviously would be the best thing to do because over time obviously an engine is going to lose compression, it is going to lose, uh, lose power and you will gain that back with doing a rebuild even if it's a budget rebuild. That's it from me for this video. I hope you learned something. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.